I always look at visual effects and I say, when I do this, it's not work to me. Is this thing on? Yeah, it's on. Alright. Oh, uh, this is Eric. It's the test of the bomb I just made. We were in the same fifth grade class. And, you know, we sat together uh, somewhere in that first week and we met each other. We just started, you know, hanging out on the playground and stuff like fifth graders do. We started becoming friends. Dude, what's going on? I don't know. Let me go check it out. We just started shooting videos together. Somehow it quickly transformed from us just messing around to us wanting to take it seriously and try to make some content for YouTube. Sam and I have different minds, where mine works more on the creative end and his is more technical. It kind of allows us to work both ends of the spectrum as just a two-man show, which is pretty special, I think. When Sam was 12 years old, he discovered videocopilot.net a website that provides free tutorials for visual effects. I'd come home from school. I'd sit down and I would just work. That's how I've basically learned all of my visual effects knowledge, is just through working on individual projects. You have a goal and you need to make it happen. Sam and Eric's videos for their So Crispy Media YouTube channel eventually drew the attention of two college students named Justin Robinson and Jamie Costa, who volunteered to act in their videos. We were super young, so of course we were like, yeah, like we need anybody we can get that doesn't look 12 like us. It feels much more legitimate when you have an older actor in it, and not just kids. People take it a lot more seriously. We were really able to uh, show our skills visually by having these actors at our disposal. I think we definitely owe a lot to Justin and Jamie. They allowed us to make a lot of great content and I definitely thank them for, for everything. With the raised production value of having adult actors, along with Sam's visual effects skills, So Crispy Media's first viral video was born. I just started thinking like, what if people were able to draw and then these drawings came to life and they were able to battle. And when we came out with Chalk Warfare, I was not expecting that to go viral. I didn't think the visuals were going to look good. I didn't think it was going to work out well. We upload that one, and it's just the response is incredible. And it was just such a good feeling knowing that people were enjoying our content that we worked so hard on. That's, I think, when we knew that we really created something special. Sam and Eric were just 15 years old when they made Chalk Warfare. In the following years, they created two sequels to the video that also went viral. Although they were producing high-quality content and gaining exposure on YouTube, Sam and Eric faced obstacles when people realized how young they were. We went through a huge phase where we did get taken advantage of at some points in time, just because of our age. We would talk to people who were a lot older than us in the industry. Sometimes it felt like they sort of looked down on us because we were so young. What we did a lot of times was just let the content speak for itself and not really reveal our age. You know, Eric's, I'm willing to say, my only friend that I still have from elementary school. It's incredible how having a passion for something creatively can keep two people together and foster a friendship. I've just always known like visual effects is something that I love. If there's something in your life that you do and you just genuinely love doing it, you get lost in it, I'd say that's something that you should fight for doing for the rest of your life. Production Center, and this is the burb where I used to sleep every night. So I had the mattress right here, and then I would put all of my belongings in the uh, center two compartments. 
as you can hear, there's a lot of traffic that comes around here. So sometimes it was difficult to get a good night's sleep because you've always got cars driving by, students walking past. Uh, basically every morning, 